Hey everybody, Jeff aka Jakers here. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a long time. The last one I did, I think, was the, uh, oh, was the, oh, not, not, Alpha, it was Alpha Trion, Orion Pax. I think it was the, A Hero Is Born 2 pack from Legacy. And I think that, that was over a month ago, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure exactly when it was last was, but I think it was over a month ago, but. I am back with another unboxing, and I hope you guys are excited because I am excited also. Not so, not so much excited about how much it costs, but I am finally glad to get this figure, and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. Uh, this figure I've been trying so hard to find at the stores, and I never could. It was just like... Uh, the figure was almost as impossible as Tarn. I was just lucky to find Tarn one day, but every time I would go to a store, they never had this figure. Now watch it. Now that I have this figure, the figure is going to uh, become readily available at the stores. And the figure that I'm actually going to be talking about... Here, one second. Oh, hold on, let me get this turned on. The figure in question is Deluxe Class Shrapnel. Uh, I actually have Kickback. This was one of the first few that I grabbed during, you know, when Legacy first released. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of his the little blades that he has. They're, they seem to be too loose. I've got to apply some uh, clear fingernail polish to try to get them to have a little bit more friction because, I mean, they're, they're almost to the uh, point that they can fall out. i just got to be careful. But yeah, I was so excited, you know, to get, you know, Kickback, because I knew where Kickback was coming, you know, that there would be other uh, Insecticons. I also have Ransack. He was part of the Creatures Collide 2, uh, 4 pack, sorry, 4 pack. And the, the blades are also really loose on this guy. I'm not sure if it is a QC issue, but you would think that they would not be so loose, you know. But, so, I got two, I got two Insecticons, and then, you know, I've been waiting and trying to find, uh, Shrapnel. And here he is. Here is Shrapnel. It's still in this box, by the way, so, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll open him up pretty soon. But, yeah, like I said, I've been trying to find this guy, and I never could fucking find him. So I ended up doing one thing I don't like doing. If it's if it is for like an exclusive figure or generation selects, I I'll go to uh, Amazon to buy the figure. But when it's a mainline figure like this guy, I figure you should have you should be able to find him at the stores. I never could, so I ended up having to actually go on Amazon and buy this figure. And the thing was, yeah, let me pull it up. Uh, the figure was like forty nine ninety nine, and sadly, it actually cost after tax was like fifty four oh nine. And I'll, I don't like having to pay double the price for a figure that should be out at uh, normal retail because this is not an exclusive. This is not an exclusive. This was supposed to be released at all major retailers. So the fact that I had to pay over double. For something, you know, that I shouldn't have to because it should be at the fucking stores. This is a major issue with Am not Amazon, with Hasbro. This, this, this is something that is wrong with them. They are refusing to listen to the uh, consumer when the consumer is telling them, Hey, you guys got to fix your uh, supply chain problem. The, they're, they're, the answer that they always give is the same thing that they've given for three years straight. Oh, well, it's a supply chain issue due to the pandemic. The pandemic is over, motherfucker. The pandemic is fucking over. That shit doesn't fly anymore. That shit stopped being a decent excuse uh, two years into the pandemic. No, you pieces of shit are constantly fucking sabotaging the consumer, and it's pissed me off. So, it's like, am I, am I mad at the... Basically, the scalpers who are making profit, or am I mad at Hasbro? I used to just be pissed at the scalpers, but the more and more, especially over the last couple of years, I'm actually starting to get pissed at Hasbro more than the scalpers because Hasbro has they they have a 
they have a moral, I don't want to say moral, they, they should, they have a responsibility, there you go, they have a responsibility to get these figures out and have it be plentiful enough for the consumers. If these figures are not even available at the stores, even though that, that's how they're advertised, your local retailer, and they're never there, then Hasbro has fucked up somewhere. And they're just not wanting to take responsibility of it because they're still in that old world sense, well, we're, we're doing everything right. It's you guys that's doing everything wrong. But enough about that. Let's get this guy opened up. Uh, so I got my trusty scissors over here. Let's open this up. Oh, there you go. And before people complain, yes, I, I don't care about the box. Boxes. I'm not a, a box collector. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could really just... Actually, I will. Here. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I gotta, I'm got i going to do a review, so I can't really do that. I was going to tear it right down the front, but I'll just cut it on the side, though, to try to get this thing open. There that side. And the th and I can just hear the screaming going on from a million entitled collectors right now, just having a conniption fit. Well, you don't like me cutting the fucking boxes? Don't fucking watch the video. I don't change who I am for people. Oh. Okay, so we got a little bit of paper that just got, or cardboard that was just cut. So let's put that over there. Now I examined the box. I didn't see any weapons on the front. So okay, they're good. I was like. Because before I even opened the box, I kind of took a peek in. I didn't see anything. I'm like, oh, God, did they did they rip me off on the accessories? So it looks like the accessories for this figure are in the paper tampon right here. So let's actually do the t paper tampon first to see what comes with this figure. Oops, I actually forgot to switch it over. There we go. All right, hold on. Okay, well, Cam. There's that one, and then there you go. I got a couple of webcams uh, set up. Well, one in my normal one, and the other is a backup cam. I put this here, and that way you can actually see me get this figure open when it's time. But let's actually do the uh, paper tampon first, shall we? Now, I think that this only comes with like two accessories, so let's see what do we got here. Oh my god. And, ooh, we actually got three accessories. I actually like that. Three accessories. And, that, and it's three blasters. I kind of like the idea that it came with three, three accessories. That's fucking nice. Okay, so you got this one here. That's it. The main blaster. And then you got like a, a purple hand blaster. And then a secondary purple hand blaster. Now, I'm kind of curious. Are the purple hand blasters the same size? Uh, yes, they are, it looks like. They are actually the same size, and then this blaster is actually a little bit larger. But overall, you know. Now, it says that this is supposed to have that stupid fucking evil fusion gimmick. And I, you know, I don't see how it goes, but I'm not really into the evil fusion bullshit anyway, so. Okay, so let's throw this over here for the time being. Okay. Now, let's get to the fun part. I'm going to be cutting this figure open, or getting it un getting it free from its sh uh, bondage, basically. This one comes with three of those little bands. I fucking hate the bands. There you go. Okay, so let's. There's that. Trying to get this. You know, it's amazing that they can get these figures in in these boxes without damaging the the back. You know, like how do they do it? There you go. And then I can just toss this over here. Okay, so here we have, yeah, let's just actually put them up here. Here we have Shrapnel, and overall, he actually looks pretty cool. 
he actually looks pretty cool. I originally thought that uh, he, you know, like kickback, that he had ankle tiltage. But I don't think he does. I think because I see the, there is a little pin on the side of the feet here. But I'm not sure how that works, though. Oh, oh well. But let's get this guy armored up, shall we? So, let's, let's see here. Let's put it, the, I'm guessing this one is like a rifle. So let's put the rifle in the right or left hand there we go there so we have him there and then we have let's do another blaster ouch or pistol or whatever you want to call it jeez ah oh, there it goes Okay, so we got, I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of the blaster being purple. Yeah. There we go, purple. I know it doesn't really show up. I gotta get a different webcam for this one right here. Actually, here, here's what I can do. I'm gonna see if I can turn on a light. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's, it's it's a little bit brighter, but it isn't you know, as bright as I was hoping that it would be. But, so, like I said, I don't like how the purple is how the pistol is purple i would have liked it was like blackish or even a silver like how the other like how the rifle is i because it blends in with the arms so i'm not really a fan of that it's like where does the arm begin or end and where does the gun begin you know okay now this other blaster where can i put this other no Ooh. okay so we can let's put this right here it's not exactly the prettiest but we've got the blaster hooked into the under part of the uh, frame of the rifle. So uh, actually, it's okay, you know. Now they're saying that this, I think this is somehow supposed to hook up to the back of the uh, rifle, but I'm not going to do it. Now let's see here. Can these actually go, okay, they actually go up. Okay, I was hoping that somehow that these would actually kind of rotate to the back. But there you go. So we have we have Shrap, Deluxe Class Shrapnel. This guy, I actually uh, asked my friend in Avrin to pre-order him, and he did. But Amazon fucked it up. They fucked it up like they've been fucking up a lot of stuff lately. Uh, they ended up, even though I, you know, I had him pre-ordered a long time ago. Uh. It, I got a met or my friend and never got a message basically saying, "Oh, there's been an issue. Uh, we'll we'll let you know when there's one to uh, we'll, we'll get one to ship out to you." Motherfucker, that was over three months ago. So basically, it's like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. It's not worth the wait. So like I said, I ended up, you know, like I said, I also went to other stores. Never could find them at the stores. I had it pre-ordered, so either way, I was going to get it. But the thing is, Amazon it would have been a lot, a hell of a lot cheaper if it went through Amazon. But I ended up having to go through a third party. But like I said, is that really the scalpers' fault that they're charging as much as they that they are? I'm sure they could charge a little bit less, but uh, yeah, I, I I blame Amazon, not Amazon. I blame Hasbro for these figures becoming so difficult. Find. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what can, I, can I do anything with this front piece here? See, I. It's, can you see it? There is uh, like a little gray piece here and here. They don't do anything. They're just kind of. The, oh, oh no! They actually go down. Oh god, that makes it look even worse. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Looks like he... Well, it would make an awesome... Like a, a, a blast shield, I guess you could say. I can I get it back up? There's that one. So, they're kind of just going to be there. But I also have the Titans Return and the Power of the Primes Legends class uh, Insecticons. I should have brought them out, but I didn't. I'll probably bring them out when I do an up... When I do my review. This is not a review, by the way. This is just... An unboxing, but 
I wanted to share with you what I uh, what I what finally came in today. I'm 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 hoping that bombshell is going to be relatively easier to acquire. I'm hoping that Hasbro realizes that they fucked up with making this guy so rare. So, you know, but so I got so let's put this guy here. We got shrapnel. We got kickback. We got ransack. And it's, it's starting to come along pretty damn nice, if you ask me. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, like I said, this was just supposed to be an unboxing. I'm going to get this guy put away, put on the shelf. Ransack, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You're not drunk enough yet. There you go. I will get, I'm going to get this guy put back on the shelf with the other two. And, you know, hopefully one of these days I'll have Bombshell. Not Bombshell. Yeah, Bombshell, sorry. I'll have Bombshell and then I'll have the original three Insecticons. And I'm hoping that, you know, within the next few years they'll finish doing the uh, lesser known Insecticons. Because I was I was excited to get uh, Ransack. I was hoping that we were going to get some more of them. But no, we, we got Shrapnel and then we got Bombshell and then that's it for this uh, for Legacy Evolution. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to back on out and get this uploaded. And I hope you all have a great day. And remember, stay safe, everybody. My name is Jeff, a.k.a. G. Chris. Wish you all a great day. Peace out.